Good morning guys, I'm Rob and welcome back to the third and final day of No Money Challenge. For the last two days it's been crazy. Um, I did already pizza, I did burgers, can you believe that? It's insane and they were so delicious. This morning I'm going to be a little bit busy because I have to go down to the field and irrigate some sweet potatoes and eggplants. So for this breakfast I'm just going to eat some sweet potato that we baked in the oven and we're just going down straight to the field. Some wild berries. Beautiful. These trees here, they look quite abundant. So I'll just take a couple of pears. Look at this tree. Really well. Couple of pears. So I got some berries. And as my grandmother once told me, never come home with the empty hands. Once I went to irrigate the sweet potatoes, I noticed that there were so many good turnip greens ready to pick up. If you notice these leaves, they have so many holes and this is a perfect sign. It means no chemicals and no pesticides. Just full flavor and organic. I cleaned them up, wash and cut it. Here we go, a bowl full of radish leaves. This smell is so amazing. I love it, love it, love it. Boil it together with potatoes, chopped onions and salt. A tip to make the leaves look green and not yellow is that the fire needs to be in high heat. I will use the leftovers from the cornbread and try not to waste anything. Now I'm going to take some beans that we cooked earlier in the oven. It's ready. Look at this. Beautiful. Once the greens are soft and cooked, remove it and serve them. This is a perfect dish. Oh my god. Look at this green. Put some olive oil. Please don't underestimate the simplicity of this dish because each and every ingredient of this it's locally produced in a natural and organic way. As it's the last day, I would like to do a small celebration and would love to make a cake. But as I don't have any sugar, it's going to be quite a challenge. I'm still thinking, but for sure we work something out. To make the cake, I'll start by scalding some corn flour with boiling water. I'm going to add two small sweet potatoes. Get some figs, cut and soak them in cold water for a few minutes. This will give some sweetness to the cake. I crush half of the walnuts leftovers into small pieces and the other half smash it into walnut butter. Add a small piece of grated courgette and carrot. Zest a lemon to add a nice flavor. And half of the wild berries that I picked up in the morning. The remaining half I'll put them in a hot pan and make kind of a red berry jam. Once everything is mixed up, place it in a clay tray. Decorate it with berries and walnuts on top. Cook it in the oven between 30 and 40 minutes. The corn silk that we collected from day one, I'll make a hot tea. I read before that this herb is really healthy to prevent and cure a lot of diseases. 
and the most important, it's quite tasty. Once the cake is cooked, remove it from the oven. Here you go guys, we have the cake, let's celebrate. Three days, no money challenge. Cut a slice and serve it with the berries jam. Here is the cake. It looks alright, let's try it out. It could be sweeter, but I think it's much sweeter than what I was expecting. And the thing is, a few months ago I planted some stevia. Um, it would give some extra sweetness, but the thing is, it didn't grow up. So, my mistake. Otherwise, I'll be eating a much sweeter cake. These berries, they are so good. For the last meal, for dinner, um, I'm thinking to make a special dish that my grandmother taught me. Um, I'm used to eat this meal since I was a little kid. Um, this is called a bean soup. Everything is local, from the garden, it's healthy, nutritious. I just love this one. Oh my god, it's so delicious. I just quickly went to my grandma's home and she happily lent me her cast iron cooking pot. Oh my god, I love this pot so much. It's beautiful and super heavy. I'm quite happy because this is the last time I'm making fire to cook something. Finally. <laughs> Add to the pot a bunch of beans, water and put it in the fire. When it starts boiling, add an onion and let it slowly cook for 1 or 2 hours. This is the way my grand grandmother used to cook food for the family. And they did everything in this pot. This is a slow cooking process. <laughs> but the taste, it's unbelievable. Once it's cooked, remove part of the beans and smash them to make a thicker broth. Add the potatoes and carrots cut in pieces. Get some fresh cabbage leaves straight from the garden. Roughly break them and add them to the pot and it should cook for at least 20 minutes more. Mmm! So tasty! I'm going to finish this fire and I'll leave it to rest for half an hour. It's important to leave a bean soup to rest. Even in the next day, it will be much better. So guys, I've just woken up in day 4 and last night I've completed the 3 days challenge of eating with no money. I would just like to mention that this challenge was an incredible experience. I've learned so much from it by being more aware and conscious and it was a great fun. When you collect your own food, you start to think differently. For instance, by collecting your own water to wash vegetables, you will give its real value. 
and just don't waste it in the sink. Instead, you will use it to irrigate some plants to weed them in the future. I believe some people can live with a little money, but to live literally with zero money, I think this is very hard. Because our society prospered uh, by co cooperating with each other and we cannot live without one another. Um, if you don't believe it, just go and try to live in the woods for a few days. I'm sure that you will quickly change your mind. For this reason, I couldn't have finished the challenge without any knowledge, work and experience from my family. Their help was crucial and it was very much appreciated. And it's not just about receiving. We are always happy to give away when you have extra food. Another thing that I've noticed is that every time you want to cook, for instance, you want to make a pot of rice, you have to go back to the forest to collect some wood. However, nowadays this is very different. We don't have to go back to the forest every time we want to cook or eat up our homes. All of us have electricity, gas and oil and this is a much cheaper, easier and convenient type of energy. So if we would have to cook and warm up our homes with the wood from the forest, for sure the forest would be totally different today. Another interesting fact is that when you collect and produce your own food, you almost don't produce any waste, especially plastic waste. It's unbelievable. I didn't even have a rubbish bin, I just didn't need it. The only waste that I produced was going straight to the compost bin. Anyway, to sum up, I would say this is quite impossible to be 100% self-sufficient, um, we always need a little money to live and cooperate with our society. However, it, it doesn't stop you of making a small part-time garden or some plants in your balcony that you can grow and eat from them. And that's a great initiative. Not because of the money you'll save, but most important than that, you are growing your own food, you know what you are eating and you appreciate it a bit more. Somehow, growing and planting your own food, it's kind of a meditation too. I hope this challenge inspired you on doing something alike. Uh, this was my own experience, way out of my comfort zone. Um, and I can promise you guys that I've learned so much from it. So I would encourage you on doing something similar. Um, I did it for three days and I felt great. But if you feel it too much, do it for one day or for one meal or just plant some plants in your garden, on your balcony and sometimes in a while you just eat the leaves from it. Uh, I'm sure you will take a lot from it. One of my best friends lives in the city and she has an amazing garden. She produces so much food and she's always sending me photos. I would love to hear your stories too. Please let me know in the comments below or on Instagram at Rob underscore Neves. I would never have done this amazing food if it wasn't this challenge. So I'm so appreciated to accept it and to be more conscious. So guys, give it a go, have fun, be creative. I'm sure you won't re regret it. Um, thank you so much for watching these videos. Um, please consider to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon.